When me and my roommate decided to move out of our current apartment, the neighborhood's just kind of noisy and we thought we could do better, but the housing market is just absolutely terrible in New York right now. It's like, there's barely any rooms for rent and the ones that are available for rent are like 1800 for like a two bedroom or a three bedroom and like the the studios are just right out. It's like 2500 minimum in Upper West Side right now. It's just <laughs> like two or three years ago, you could get a one bedroom for that much at least. And like I've been looking in the Nyack area and like parts of New Jersey that I'm familiar with, like Cherry Hill, which is in South Jersey, um, and then like some other areas closer by. And it's just so much better. <laughs> The amenities you get, like the apartments are more modern and then you look at New York and they're just all kind of sad and not a whole lot nice about it. Damn mosquito. And at the same time, I'm trying to transition into my new job and like get all of that paperwork filled out. So I had to officially resign from my student position, which was sad, but inevitable. And I'll be starting officially hopefully on September 1st, uh, which is exactly my move out date. So that's another complexity. I might have a housing gap. I was thinking about going nomadic for like a month or something like that, which I think is just a nicer way to say homeless. But you know, if you're homeless with money, it's kind of better. I think the only thing I need to worry about is getting something to move my stuff. I don't have like a ton of the big items that I paid for, but it would be nice to like salvage some of the furniture that my roommate had in the apartment so like it'd be pretty cool if I could get a brand new couch <laughs> I didn't have one of those before I just had like this little glider that I salvaged in Plainsboro and it served me well but at a certain point I had to junk it because it wasn't worth transporting all the way to New York City into a furnished apartment it just didn't make sense but then there's other things to think about like gyms are super expensive here like I'm paying 90 a month that's supposed to be a good deal for crunch in New York but apparently you could pay like $30 in other places so I'm kind of jealous and you can also like the insurance is a lot more expensive uh, you wouldn't have to pay for transit I think it might be a good idea to keep my garage even though I'm paying for an apartment out of the city because I could just drive in and park it and then I wouldn't have to worry about like putting it somewhere or street parking or any of that nonsense but I'm trying to think about what I want to do with this new paycheck that I'm going to be getting, hopefully. I don't want to just spend it all on rent, so... Part of this is also like a moral thing where I feel like a little indignant that these property owners want to charge us just exorbitant rates for rooms and apartments. And I'm kind of like, well, you know what, you're just not going to get my money. I'm just going to leave. Like, <laughs> And I'm not paying anyone else either. I'm just going to, you know, stick to my guns and... You know, I think it almost makes more sense to just rent a room from a friend who has a house and like help them pay it off as opposed to just giving more money to landlords. Mosquitoes are starting to get to me. I think this may not be an ideal location. But on that note, I do want to get like a little bit of camera gear because I saw the way my friend's uh, iPhone films and it's so much less shaky than this. This is a Samsung A32. Um, which is nice for me like I'm used to having really really outdated phones and I just worry about the basics and I don't like too many fancy features but it would be nice to have like not shaky video that I can track while I'm walking and stuff like that and not have to do everything in post and then like add all kinds of effects to not like make it look stupid but at the same time when I started like looking at cameras before I started actually playing around with this, they're all like pretty expensive and I thought, you know, well I should go buy like a decent quality camera that's going to get the shots that I want. But the thing is, is like I didn't know how to edit very well and I still don't. So I'm just focusing on that right now and it like at this point it, it did seem like a good idea to just wait until I had a clear idea of what I could afford and what made sense and to get my editing skills up because I see a lot more things in video now that I didn't before. like shaky stuff and tracking shots like those in particular um, are a problem with this and it's nice to have like a specific thing that I want to solve rather than just guessing and hoping that I can throw money at a problem that I don't know if it's there or not and solve it. I think it is more strategic to live outside of the New York City to do travel stuff um, if you're not just going to cities because 
like if I'm going to be driving places, it's hard to park in New York and you have to pay for stuff. And if you just don't have easy access, it's kind of hard to get in and out of New York, the state. Like you can drive into Staten Island or Manhattan or the Bronx, but you only have a few bridges and then like, uh, then it's easy. Like then you can use public transit, but until you're in a strategic place where you can park your car or whatever, it's just annoying. And then the rest of the country, it's like you basically can't get to it. So like, it's kind of nice to have my car still. <laughs> like, I think that that bet is going to pay off, especially now that I'm, I may be moving and I don't really know, even though I'm like literally a week out from having to move out. Um, so it would be good to have that little bit of insurance that, you know, if things do get really bad, I can just dump all my stuff in my car and put it in storage or something. I guess this is like not the worst position to be in because if I didn't have a car and I couldn't find a room, like what the hell do you do in New York? Cause like, I'm not going to rent from June or Bungalow or one of those like bullshit co-living companies are just jacking up the rents basically. Um, and it seems like there just aren't any apartments anymore. They're just gone. <laughs> like, the rooms are gone, apartments are gone. It's just empty. Like, every month, like, you see a few new listings at the beginning of the month, and then, like, halfway through, it's just empty. Like, there's nothing. Like, even the expensive apartments, like, they're, they're running out of those, too. Like, it's getting sparser at that end, too. It's, it's really strange. I mean, there's still plenty around, but I don't want to spend $3,000 a month on rent. For a room, too. Some of these people want 3000 for a room. Like, <laughs> you don't even get to be an independent adult. You have to, like, shack up with somebody for $3,000. Like, that's crazy. All right, I have to go inside. The mosquitoes are getting hungry, apparently. I can see them just flying around everywhere now. <laughs>